Right, hello Year 5, it's me, Mr A, back with, um, well not story time, it's not story time is it, um, a little gardening update. Well it would seem that uh, your little gardening project outside has uh, borne fruit and uh, we have quite a uh, crop of courgettes which have come through, very nice looking ones at that. Huh? So what I thought I'd do is make something with them um, and give you a little little demo of how to make some little quick and easy um, kind of hors d'oeuvres um, with, uh, with the courgettes. So I'm going to get on that now. I'm not Jamie Oliver or anything, so um, I don't know what this is going to end up like, but uh, thanks for watching and, and persevering and, uh, and we'll see. First thing I'm going to do is wash my hands. So. Okay, and uh, just for safety's sake for today, I'm going to put on some gloves. Okay, so ready to go. Now, uh, what we're going to do today is we're going to make some uh, courgette and parmesan crisps, which are going to go in the oven, and some courgette kind of roll-ups with some guacamole in them, some uh, fresh guacamole, which I'm going to make um, make from scratch here. So. Um, Let's get started. Right now, I've prepared my work surface. Uh, what I need for this is I need some Parmesan cheese, which is here, and some breadcrumbs, which I'm going to make by just uh, grating up a slice of wholemeal bread. I'm using wholemeal. You could use white bread if you wanted to. I prefer wholemeal, it's got more fibre in it and um, just a nicer all round taste. Okay, so I've got my breadcrumbs. I'm take a bowl, dump the breadcrumbs in there, give them a shake. I'm going to take some parmesan, and maybe um, yeah, a couple of heaped tablespoons of that. Two and a half, like, like parmesan, uh, maybe three. All right, so it goes in there. I'm going to take some olive oil. Some olive oil. Push that in, around about a tablespoonful. And then what I'm going to do, take a spoon, and I'm going to mix that up. Okay, so that's what that should look like. Nice breadcrumb and parmesan mix. And now. Next step, once that's ready, I'm going to take my courgettes. Okay, I'm going to take one about this size, and I'm going to cut it. Just take the end off. I'm going to cut it round about, round about this thick. Okay, I'm going to cut a few of those. If you're using a knife at home, get a grown up to help. Okay, I don't have a grown up, so I'm just using me. That's a courgette. I'm going to take back my mixture. And what I've done in the meantime, I've taken a uh, baking tray, lined it with some greaseproof paper. All right now, then take my courgette, press it down into this mixture. Give it a good whirl around. Nicely coated on top. Okay, when you've coated all those, um, they should look like this. Little um, bite size courgette kind of biscuit crisp kind of things. And I'm going to bung them in the oven for about uh, 20 to 25 minutes. Or if it's anything like my oven at home, probably more like 15. Um, yeah, at about 180 degrees. And I'm going to watch them until the tops are uh, golden brown and they look like they're cooked through. All right. Again, if you're using the oven at home, make sure you have an adult with you. Right, so 20-25 minutes and uh, while that's going on, I'm going to make the next thing. All right. Okay, so while they're in the oven, I'm going to uh, go on to the next thing, which is to uh, make some courgette roll-ups with guacamole. Okay, nice little um, hors d'oeuvres. So, 
For that, I'm going to need courgette, obviously, and avocados, lime, the juice. I'm also going to do a couple of carrot ones because uh, I've got somebody who doesn't, um, who can't eat courgette. And that's, uh, so you could, it's just good to substitute out little things. Um, so I'm going to do some courgette ones too. I need some tomatoes for the guacamole um, and uh, red onion. All right. So first thing I'm going to do is make my little roll out bits. And these are little slices of courgette like that. Just made by using a just a potato peeler. You take the courgette and you just slice off a strip like that. Now one thing about courgettes are they're a very wet vegetable. When you cut them up, when you cook with them, they're just full of water. Um, now a good way to draw that out is to use some salt, which I'm just going to do now. So I'm going to lay these out on a plate, okay, like so. And then I'm just going to sprinkle some salt over the top. Not only does that bring out the flavours, but it also draws out a lot of the water. And I'll just give them a, a toss in that. Okay, so now I've got plenty of those strips. They're all salted. I'm going to set those aside for a minute and make the guacamole. Now the guacamole, you'll need a bowl and you'll need some avocados. Avocado is going to be quite tricky, but there is a knack to them. Just take your knife, cut in, again, use a grown up, all the way around like that, and then you give them a twist, like so. Now pop out the stone. Slice them inside, like that. Spoon. And just hollow it all out. Really good for your avocado, lots of good fats. Okay, so while I'm doing that, as suspected, these haven't quite taken as long as 25 minutes. Do keep an eye on them when they start to go golden brown on top, then just whip them out and they're ready. Okay, and there we have our courgette and parmesan chips. Hmm. Set those aside. Alright, back to the guacamole. So, here's my bowl. I've uh, cut out three avocados into there. Next thing I'm going to do is add some lime juice. Juice of about half a lime. Okay, a little bit more. And then I'm going to mash that up, all right, with my mashing tool. Right. Okay. Good mash and mix. Okay, until I get this lovely mashed up mixture like that. Just going to set that aside for a minute. Now I said I was going to do a couple with carrots, right? So you can use carrots for this as well. All right, now once you've got the, um, the base of the guacamole made, um, there's all kinds of things you can add to it. Give it a little bit of zing. Um, if you're adventurous, you can add a little bit of chili in there to spice it up a bit. Um, I'm not going to. Uh, I'm going to add some red onion, and uh, then afterwards I'm going to add some tomatoes. Okay, just to give it a bit of um, bit of kick. Take some. Okay, so I take some red onion. I'm going to chop that up as finely as I can. Okay, once you've got the red onion, you can uh, mix that in with the guacamole. 
Okay, I'm going to set some of that aside now because um, I'm going to put some tomatoes in. And right, so next, I'm going to do just take some cherry tomatoes, cut them into quarters, and pop them in there as well. A little bit of extra flavour. Okay, so pop the tomatoes in there. Give that all a stir together. And hey presto, it's your uh, homemade guacamole. Now, just gonna clean up a little bit and then we'll be back for the next bit. All right, now the next bit, the final bit if you like, one of the most, uh, the tricky part of the whole operation because all the guacamole making, that was, that was easy. Um, just mixing stuff. Now we come to assembling these little, um, uh, courgette roll-ups we're going to have. All right, so we'll start with a nice slice of courgette like that. I'm going to take a teaspoon, a teaspoon, a teaspoon. Take a teaspoon and a teaspoon of our guacamole mix. Pop it down on there. Spread it across like that. Spread it out quite evenly. Right, and then you're going to need some uh, cocktail sticks. Right, you take a cocktail stick, and then what I'm going to do, very carefully from end to end, fiddly bit. shove the cocktail stick through it and there we have our courgette and guacamole roll up. Okay so I'm going to leave that there and then I'm going to carry on and do some more. So I'll show you again. Take a slice of courgette, teaspoon of Spread it out. Nice and even. Okay, then cocktail stick and very gradually, very gently start to roll it up. Roll it up all the way at the end and then stab it through there. Your cocktail stick. And it's ready to go. Lovely. And I'm going to carry on and make the rest of those. And as I said, you don't have to use courgette for this. Um, you could use carrot. So I've got a little slice of carrot there. More guacamole. Spread that out along the, um, the length. Bell stick. And then. I'm not going to make it into uh, Egon Ronay's school <laughs> master chef with this, but uh, hey, the taste is what counts. All right, so carry on with that. Okay, so that's all done. They're all rolled up, and uh, once that's done, they're ready to present on a plate. Okay, it's got a nice little um, there you go, courgette roll-ups with uh, guacamole, and that's for that. I'm going to take those round and. These little uh, courgette chips with um, parmesan and breadcrumbs, and uh, I've made them into little kind of lollipop shapes. So that's all done. I'm going to take them around to year five now. Thanks very much, and uh, I'll see you next time. Cheers.